Okay, we have our VCAR 2020 exam, question three now, and this is a beautiful looking reaction pathway question. I love these questions, so let's get stuck into it. What are we starting off with? We're starting with a hexene, so therefore it's there. Write the IUPAC name for compound J. So where's compound J? It's sitting here. So I've got hexene, I'm reacting with bromine, so therefore what's gonna happen is, I'll draw out my skeleton here, one, two, three, four, five, six. It was like that. This is going to break that double bond and it's going to put a H there and a BR there. So therefore, this is going to be 3-bromohexane, hexane, sorry. So therefore, it's here, 3-bromohexane. That's my answer to the first part there. Whenever doing these reaction pathways, I tend to like to do skeleton um, drawings, not skeletal drawings, but just like skeleton reactions so I understand what's going to happen, showing me my backbones and the most important functional groups so it actually works that way. Moving on, we've got state the reagents required to convert hex3-ene into hexen3-ol in the box provided. So we're, again, we're breaking a double bond and we're creating an alcohol that is done through using water and an acid. That water is normally, and this normally happens around about 300 degrees. So I could also write down here around about 300 degrees Celsius. Um, the state for water then would be gas. And would that be aqueous? I don't really know. Um, we'll just call it um, H positive because I know it's going to be an acid that does that. So the reagents required to turn an alkene into an alcohol is water in the presence of an acidic um, catalyst. And that's part B done. So that's done, that's done. Moving on to part C. Draw the structural formula for the tertiary alcohol that is an isomer. So tertiary alcohol, isomer of that. Tertiary alcohol, that means I've got a carbon and we've got carbons all around it. That would mean it's tertiary alcohol. So therefore, I then need to work out how many more carbons I need. I've got um, four, so I need another two. One, two and then I can just put in my hydrogens present. Now, one important thing here is if I'm doing structural formulas, I'm showing all bonds. So therefore, I'm definitely showing all my hydrogens here. I'm also showing the bond between oxygen and hydrogen here as well. Um, and I'm making sure that my bonds go to the right things there as well. So I've got the bond going to the oxygen, going to the hydrogen, clearly represented there. The most important thing is tertiary alcohol means um, that the OH or hydroxyl group is on a carbon that's surrounded by other carbons. It's got three additional carbons attached to it. Moving on, hexan 3 ol is reacted with compound M under acidic conditions to produce compound L. Draw the semi-structural formula for compound M in the box. So compound M is here. So what's happening here? Um, where are we? under acidic conditions to form compound M. So I'm assuming the fact that if we're going to go there, all right, okay, I get you now. So this is reacting with that to form that. So therefore what we've got here is an ester, all right? So therefore what happened is we reacted it with whatever this was. So therefore I can work out where the ester was broken. So therefore this is my um, hexan 3 ol This section here is my hexan 3 ol um, Therefore this thing here reacted with it. So chances are it's going to be ethanoic acid. So it's gonna be CH3COOH. I can see that there if I break my ester linkage, um, that's what's gonna happen. Took me a while to work out what's going on there. Moving on. Part E, draw the semi-structural formula for compound K in the box. And now I'm going to here. So I've got hexan 3 ol I'm oxidizing that using permanganate. So therefore it's gonna form a ketone. So therefore it's gonna form this guy here, which is gonna be uh, C to C to C to C to C. One, two, three, four, five, six. On the third carbon, there's gonna be a um, double bond to O. So it's going to be CH3, CH2, CO, CH2, CH2, CH3. And therefore, I've got my semi-structure by simply writing out what I think the structure should look like. 
and then converting it to a semi-structure there. It's the easiest way I can try and work on that. Moving on, name the class of organic homologous series for that belongs to. It's a ketone. Ketone. Because we've got a secondary alcohol reacting to form it. This would produce a carboxyl group if it was on the end of my chain. This, this hydroxyl is on the end. But because my hydroxyl is in the middle of my chain, it's going to form this nice ketone there. And what type of reaction produces compound K? As I said before, this is an oxidation reaction. Where um, oxidation, the hydroxyl group is oxidized into a ketone um, carbonyl group. In the process, this permanganate here would be reduced to manganese ions. Um, and that is the answer to question three, done and dusted.